These vibrant, sweet and sour pickled eggs are delicious. Easy and perfectly eggy. They are hard-boiled eggs pickled in the same jar with beets. I'm Tess and welcome to my kitchen and come join me as I make these tasty Pennsylvania Dutch pickled eggs. This recipe makes a dozen pickled eggs. You may as well make a dozen because they go quickly. Hard boil the eggs. Place the eggs in cold water and bring to a boil. Cover, remove from the heat, and let set for 10 minutes. Perfect hard boiled eggs every time. Next, I'm making the pickling juice. In a saucepan on medium heat, I'm adding two cups of water, one cup of cider vinegar, and you can use white vinegar, a half a cup of sugar and the beet juice from two 15 ounce cans of beets and that comes out to about one and a half cups of beet juice. Just bring that up to heat and stir. You don't want to bring the mixture to a boil, you just want to heat to get the sugar dissolved. Once the sugar is dissolved, remove from the heat to cool. You can find this recipe in the description box below. Please come and visit me on Facebook, Google Plus and Test Cooks for You blog. You will want to get a glass lidded container to store in the refrigerator. I'm using an old pickle jar. I'm adding the hard boiled eggs to the jar and then the red beet slices. You can use the small whole can beets or julienne beets. This is another childhood recipe. These pickled eggs are very common here in our Pennsylvania Dutch area. You will find them in all the delis, grocery stores, and it is a very common bar food. You will sometimes see cloves, cinnamon, and allspice included in the pickling juice. Slices of onion or hot pepper may also be added to the pickling liquid with the beets and eggs. But this version is how I've always made pickled eggs. They are so easy and tasty. Lastly, pour the pickling juice over the eggs and beets. You can see mine is still a little warm, and that's okay. Give the eggs and beets a gentle stir. You can already see the eggs turning pink. And now the hard part. Store the pickled eggs in the refrigerator and forget about them for at least 48 hours. I know, I know, but the longer you allow them to rest, the further the purple color and the flavor will penetrate the egg. Occasionally stir the eggs, making sure all the eggs are exposed to the juice. The eggs should be covered at all times and store in the refrigerator. Just to show you, this is a pickled egg after 24 hours in the pickling juice. The outside is a beautiful deep purple. You can see the juice is soaked through revealing a pink border and some white showing. The yolk is a nice bright yellow. And next is a pickled egg after 48 hours. Again, the outside is a deep purple, just a tad darker on the outside as a 24 hour egg. The inside shows how the juice has penetrated a little deeper with no white showing and the juice and the flavors have actually started to seep into the yolk. This is where all the deliciousness comes. I also wanted to show you a mustard pickled egg that has a beautiful yellow orange color. If you'd like to see that recipe, please let me know in the comment section below. These pickled beet eggs are easy and well loved. They are great for picnics, get togethers, and a great way to use up some Easter eggs. You can serve these as a side dish for a sandwich, slice over salads, or just sprinkle a little salt and eat as a snack. And the answer to your question is yes, you sure can make pickled deviled eggs, and they are delightful. I hope you give these pickled eggs a try. You will love them. Thanks for joining me here at Test Cooks for You. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe for future recipes and videos. I appreciate all my viewers, and until next time, much love.